big changes to the city's controversial trash can policy. The old one can policy is now going away, all part of Mayor John Cranley's plan and his state of the city address that is just about to begin. He's going to be speaking any time now. WLWT News 5's John London live outside Music Hall where the mayor is doing some recalibrating. John. Yeah, Mike, for city residents, it means goodbye to the one garbage can per family limit starting sometime early next year. Inside Music Hall here, in a few moments, the mayor will be telling citizens it wasn't practical and led to a surge in illegal dumping. Mayor Cranley also says downtown's having its day, and now it's time to spread the success. Here's one picture the mayor is presenting at Music Hall right now, a new full-service grocery at the Avondale Town Center, a rendering he intends to make a reality. Here's another, a dining terrace and beer garden in Mount Airy Forest. Just as a remade Washington Park has helped transform over the Rhine, John Cranley believes a revitalized Mount Airy could work wonders for the west side. There's a real sense of positive momentum in downtown and over the Rhine and the river, and we're going to keep doing that. However, we want to spread that renaissance to the neighborhoods. As Cranley helped mark Cincinnati State's 45th anniversary today, he was preparing to tell citizens tonight about a renewed emphasis on paving roads, plowing snow, and picking up litter. Along those lines, the much maligned one can rule for garbage is being thrown away. As promised, Cranley will set no limit on how many trash cans you set out as long as they fit the mechanized lift bar like the recycling containers. You don't have to, but you can buy more cans on your own at the right regulation size so we can have the automated pickup, which is a nice thing. But uh, uh, we're not going to tell you that you can only have one garbage can of garbage a week. Part of his state of the city message involves short-term employment. Quote, during the next four years, our goal is to transition 4,000 Cincinnatians from living in poverty to living in a household with at least one full-time provider. If successful, that will represent a 5% reduction in the poverty rate. End quote. Cranley's stated intent tonight is to shift the focus of growth from the central core to the neighborhoods that ring it. All right, and part of that focus will continue to be on crime in the neighborhoods. The mayor stressing inside Music Hall behind me tonight that so far this year, 17% fewer shootings as compared to last year at this time. Live in Over the Rhine, John London, WWT News 5. Hey, John, obviously the mayor covering a lot of ground in this speech that he's about to give. What are some of the other major items of interest? Well, you know, uh, he's asking, he's going to uh, focus uh, here quite a bit uh, on the fleet. He's asking the new city manager, Harry Black, to prepare short-term and long-term remedies for the aging fleet that the city has, police vehicles, fire vehicles, and garbage cans, says there are, most of them are not in good condition and that this will take years. And also, landlords listen up. He intends to stiffen penalties for building code violations. Mike. All right, John London, live at Music Hall. The state of the city speech about to begin. We're going to follow that very closely for you and, of course, bring you any important updates on how it impacts you coming up.